Alright, so um, in the last video I did show this secondary team of um, Kaylee's and uh, yeah, this was after I loaned him, you know, some of my Pokemon so he can, you know, build a bit of a better team. And uh, yeah, this is how it went. So this is like a bit more of an educational video of, you know, what to use and when to use it. And uh, oh yeah, I didn't realise that was in the moon ball. Not bad. So, yeah, I was like, okay, let's see if I kick off a nasty plot. And, yeah, this is actually the Zoroark that I got hold of in a trade. Um, I advise him to, you know, ditch that void and use nasty plot because that void is, you know, a bit of a pain to deal with, but it can also be a pain to use. Making it unreliable, so I advise him to teach Darkrai nasty plot, you know, to give the special attack a big, you know, kick up the back sides to really boost it up. So, yeah, I think I told him to use Geomancer in this. Oh, no, I didn't. But yeah, um, all, all the whole time that we've been battling, we've also been on Discord uh, chatting as well. And um, he was asking me, you know, when to use Absol. And I advised him, you know, do not send Absol out until after Landorus is out first, due to the attack drop. And um, yeah, he managed to um, allow uh, Absol to keep the attack stat as it is. And... Um, and yeah, it actually managed to kick my backside in this battle. <clears throat> and I just realised I haven't put the volume on my DS. I don't think it really matters as such. Yeah, I kept her uh, bravery in on purpose um, because the bravery is actually choice scarfed. Um, you know, just to add a bit more speed to it, since the speed doesn't even hit three hundred um, in the well in that department. So yeah, I sent Landorus out to try and get rid of the Mew um, before I actually did any proper damage. If I remember correctly, that Mew is modest. I'm not sure. Yeah, he said it was modest. He got lucky with that one. So yeah, this is when... Um, you know, this is when I told him, you know, you can send out Absol now and, uh, you know, get that, uh, you know, get an idea on how to, you know, use it the way I do. So I told him to Mega Evolve it and I think I used Tailwind this turn or Taunt. I think it would have been, would have been Tailwind actually. I can't remember. Yeah, uh, so I used Tailwind. I think I use Taunt next, um, you know, to give him a rough idea on how and when to use something. Again, lucky with the crits. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, and he didn't really know exactly what Sucker Punch did until after I told him. Uh, Sucker Punch, it always lands, but only if the opponent attacks. Now, with Cloyster, I had to give him, you know, a random guessing game on what was going to happen um, after I pulled off one Shell Smash. Because I warned him I was going to use Shell Smash and not to use Sucker Punch, otherwise it would have actually uh, failed on hitting. So, and now it was actually a guessing game for him.
I was tempted to go for attack after this shell smash, but I thought, no, that's not. It might actually, you know, use sucker punch again. But uh, yeah, he guessed right and went for another attack. And uh, yeah, practically, you know, finished me off. So he did really damn well. Um, you know, learning how to, well, learning what to use and when to use it. So good game on that one. Yeah. Anyway, um, if you like the video, leave a like, comment and subscribe and uh, yeah, see you in the next battle.